Hey everyone, I'm Jensen. Today is Thursday, February 25th, and from a look ahead to what spring events might look like in Ohio, to a big boost in our vaccine shipments, I have all the stories you need to know to get in the loop tonight. But first, let's get a quick check on our weather. If you're looking for a significant warm up tomorrow, we're going to be on hold just for a day. There'll be a bit of an east breeze that kicks in. If you live along the bay or along the lake in Point Place, you're going to feel the impact of the lake and bay tomorrow. Over the weekend, though, spring fever will be on full display across the area. I think temperatures are just going to erupt. They're going to explode up into the 50s and the afternoons, both Saturday and Sunday, will give you a great, great chance to get outside. So here are the next three days. Tomorrow, an east breeze kind of keeps a lid on temperatures, very similar to today's high. And then on Saturday, any rain, and we talked about this, will come overnight and very early in the day. I think there'll be lots of sunshine and a high of 52, and on Sunday, a high up to 55. It's going to get a little breezy, maybe even a little windy on Sunday. That'll be the difference between the two days, I think. A Saturday might end up being the better afternoon of the two, just by a little bit, to be outside. And very quickly, I just have to tell you about this one because it just makes me giggle. Sylvania residents got a few new neighbors today. A pair of horses were found wandering freely on Sylvania Metamora Road this morning. One woman was able to catch a third horse using carrots. Obviously, what else would you use to catch a stray horse? But those other two are still out there on the open road. We'll keep you updated once these critters are in custody. And listen up, parents. Owens Community College is offering a free dental hygiene day for kids. Appointments for the school's annual Give Kids a Smile event filled up within a week. So, in response, Owens is scheduling free appointments to anyone who could not get into that event. To schedule, just call 567-661-7294 and ask for the free dental hygiene day for kids. An appointment will be booked during regular dental hygiene clinic hours. And something else to keep in mind per CDC guidelines, the clinic is limiting the number of children accepted per day to ensure a safe environment. Again, that number to make an appointment is 567-661-7294. And we got a glimmer of hope today from Governor Mike DeWine as we start to look ahead toward spring. He started a rollout of loosened restrictions for some of our favorite events, starting first with sports and entertainment. These events will be able to reopen with 25% maximum indoor capacity and 30% maximum outdoor capacity, provided they follow established precautions. Some of those precautions include, but are not limited to, mandatory mask wearing for employees and customers, spectator pathways that allow for social distancing, seating in pods of no more than six people, recommended to be of the same household, and seating pods must be separated by at least six feet. Now, general admission will be allowed, DeWine said, as long as masks are worn and proper distancing can be marked or at least maintained. Now, guidance for proms, banquet setters, fairs, festivals, all of those things will be coming in the near future. And though DeWine said restrictions would start to be pulled back, he did say state leaders will move slowly as they watch what happens with the new and more contagious variants of the virus. The whole goal here um, will be for all of us to get back to where we wanna be, uh, get back to uh, what our life was before the pandemic. There's a bridge to that life and we have to take the bridge. Dwine said that bridge is made up of two things, the vaccine and wearing a mask. And when it comes to the vaccine, Ohio is expected to get a whole lot more of it. Next week, Ohio will have 310,000 first doses. So the state will be adding more vaccine provider sites, including some Meyer and Walmart sites and more independent pharmacies. He said that Rite Aid, Kroger, CVS, Walgreens, local health departments and hospitals will also have more doses. And based on information from the federal government, DeWine said, once the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is available, Ohio will have another 91,000 doses during its first week. For information on how you can schedule a vaccine appointment in Northwest Ohio and in Southeast Michigan, check out the link in the description of this video. And yesterday, Moderna announced that it's made experimental doses of its COVID-19 vaccine that better match a mutated version of the virus. Now, health authorities say the current vaccines still do protect against those pesky variants of the virus that are popping up around the world and right here in Ohio. But in case the vaccines eventually need to be updated, manufacturers are working on ways to tweak their recipes. 
The variant causing the most concern right now is the one that was first found in South Africa. Moderna has made doses of vaccines that are specifically targeted to that variant and shipped them to the National Institutes of Health for a study. U.S. regulators say a revamped vaccine wouldn't need to be studied for months in thousands of people, but it would need testing in several hundred people to see if their immune systems react similarly to the updated shot as to the original. Moderna said it's also started testing whether just giving a third dose of the original vaccine would offer an extra immune boost that could guard against variants, even if it's not an exact match. So we will keep you updated on that. February is usually the peak of flu season with doctor's offices packed with patients, but not this year. The flu has virtually disappeared in the U.S., with reports coming in at far lower levels than anything seen in decades. Experts say that measures put in place to fend off the virus, mask wearing, social distancing, and virtual schooling were a big factor in preventing a twindemic of flu and COVID-19. A push to get more people vaccinated against the flu probably helped too, as did fewer people traveling. And here's another possible explanation. The coronavirus has essentially muscled aside the flu and other bugs that are more common in the fall and winter. Scientists don't fully understand the mechanism behind that, but it would be consistent with patterns seen when certain flu strains become more dominant over others. And that's according to University of Michigan flu expert, Dr. Arnold Monto. According to the Ohio Department of Health website, through February 13th, there have only been two flu-related hospitalizations in Lucas County this flu season. Wood County, Fulton, Erie, Putnam, Ottawa, Hancock, Henry, and Huron counties have had no flu-related hospitalizations. And before I go, let me share some news with you that will tug on your nostalgic heartstrings. Nickelodeon is bringing back its popular Rugrats cartoon to the new Paramount Plus streaming service. The series with updated CG animation will feature original voice actors when it debuts this spring. The original Rugrats debuted in 1991 and aired for nine seasons. It also spawned three feature films and a successful consumer product line. The show earned four Daytime Emmy Awards. I love that they're keeping the voices, but I'm not gonna lie, the CG kind of creeps me out a little bit, but I'm still gonna check it out. Let me know if you will in the comments below. But that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Jensen, and now you're in the loop.